Tonight we're playing Mahjong American style, so I thought I would do a little Charleston modeling. Okay, we're ready to go. Random 13 tiles. There we go, now the mock Charleston. Right across, left, left across, right. Let's see what happens. I like to put my flowers, winds, and dragons first, and of course my joker. So lucky to have a joker. And then I put the suits together in order. And this is indicative of my luck lately. So we have multiples of one bam, seven dot, three crack. I'm gonna have to sacrifice one of those. Most likely I'm gonna to have to give away the West, East, West, because East and West in 2017 goes with evens. So I'm thinking either consecutive or one, three, five. So we'll pass those. Gotta sacrifice that pair already. That happens sometimes, your multiples don't go together. We got a one and a nine and a seven and then a west. So I'm thinking one, three, five, one, three, five or like numbers and we'll have to sacrifice another multiple. I don't know. We could do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or we could do one, two, in, uh, and three in mixed suits maybe. I'm not sure yet. But let's go ahead and save those and mix this up. Doesn't matter which one. Got another multiple with the one. We did get a five. That's the wrong five though for a one, three, one, three, five, or that's the wrong three actually. We're just gonna keep going, but now we got a pair. And in this case, that pair is going to have to be sacrificed. This is just uh, filled with sacrifices, this one. So we'll pass those two, and now we have to give up on, I think, the two bam. It looks like a little odds hand somehow. Oh, and we got that too. That's just the way it goes. I'm going to save it. Maybe we'll get it back in the optional cross and no keepers there no keepers there this we might be able to use the green dragon but I don't think so well, what about actually there's this one three three five with the opposite dragon you can't use a joker though with a pair so we're missing the three why don't we go ahead and sacrifice the two? Oh, let's see, one, three, here's another. Oh boy. Oh, I'm just making a mess. Here we go. All right, now we've got all kinds of mix up going on here. Optional cross. We gotta pick a hand. Let's see. If we do the one, three, three, five with the opposite dragon, the convention is pair, pair, pung, pung. So it would look like this. So pair, pair, which we're missing, that's a gap. Pung, pung, and then a Kong. So we have eight towards that hand in the one, three, five category, one, three, five, seven, nine. And that is, that's the third hand down. Uh, the other option would be to do 
the one two with dragons and maybe we would get it back in the optional cross and we have seven towards that or we could do like numbers with flowers we could do one three nope one three one three five where we have a gap I think we should give away the five crack give away the three bam so we can do like numbers or one two one two three we've got two gaps though we need a two dot and a two bam back let's give up on the green so we're going to do three for the optional cross there are two two bams in here We didn't get any of them. Bummer. All right, so we got four discards. I'd say like numbers probably is most likely in here, or one, two, one, two, three, if we end up getting two dot and two bam. So that was um, kind of a rough Charleston. Let's try again. Sometimes you have those rough days where nothing works. You gotta make it work. Make it work. Okay, here we go. Oops. Too many. Oh, no it wasn't. Okay, there we go. Mock Charleston. Okay. No jokers and no flowers this time. But we do have wins. Look at all these wins. And we happen to have more odds than we do evens because East and West in 2017 goes with evens. So we're gonna keep to leverage these wins. We could do um, East West with dragons, but as an option, I'm gonna keep the evens and see if we can do East West with evens. So let's throw, wow, this is gonna be really risky, but we don't have a choice at this point. There's the first pass. We got a couple of evens. They're not pairing up though. This is a little risky, but I want to give myself options here. We got a flower and a six. All right, so there's our evens. East and west with sixes. We can do east west with flowers, east west with dragons. I'm going to keep the south in case maybe the news with sixes. So let's pass 4.8 bam, 9 crack. Can't keep a joker in the Charleston with this exercise. There's another one. Hope I get jokers tonight, boy. All right, there's a keeper. Now, well, no, not really because we want sixes. But we did get a white east and west with dragons. We'll pass two, eight, four. It's a little risky, but we're working on a nice hand here. I'm gonna risk it. Another dragon, that's our hand right there. East, west with sixes. So now we can pass six bam, eight bam, nine dot. We could probably Either way, it's going to be risky. I was thinking of mixing it up like that, but it's still risky. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and mix it up. Okay. Another flower. Joker bait, I guess. Three, four, eight. Three, six, eight. Three, four, eight. Either way, it's the same. Same risk, 
same level of risk. Oh my gosh, another white. And this is actually not a bad pass. So we're gonna pass three for optional. Discards. So east and west with dragons, or we could use the west as joker bait and go for dragons, four pungs, four kongs of dragons and a pair of flowers. So we have really for the east west, oh boy, east west with dragons, we have six discards. For all dragons, same six discards. One more time. Okay, we got a joker this time. Dragon, now that Isle's in order. Okay, so we have no multiples. That happens all the time. So I'm thinking either one, two, three, four, or three, six, nine. Or we could do even a two, four, six, eight. So we're gonna have to count. So if we do one, three little odds, we have, oops, little odds, we have really five. That's not good. So if we do one, two, three, four, we have seven. That's a little better. If we do two, four, six, eight, Six. If we do three, six, nine, five. <laughs> so I think the one, two, three, four, I believe, was the most. Seven. And when you do mixed suits, you just want four numbers in a range. And here we have one, two, three, four. As an option, we'll keep the red because there is a dragon hand in consecutive run. So we'll throw, oh no, we gotta throw like numbers. I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix that up and give up probably this one crack. There's one of each suit now. Here we go, let's see what happens in this Charleston. There's one keeper. And we have okay tiles to pass. It's a little bit risky because it's evens, evens with east, and this year evens with east go together. But you know, you got to play offense first, then defense. We got a pair of ones, and that actually does happen. People pass pairs all the time. Now we only have two discards, so we have to pick a hand. We're in the um, Right now we're in the consecutive category, but we could play the the one three five category as well. Um, but let's see if we did one two three four. I think that's what we should do. One two pung kong pung kong. We can give up. Let's give up the red. We can still go back to the little odds if we need to. Oh my, twos, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. We are missing that one crack, we gave it up. Let's give up the four, 
Let's see if we do one, two, well, no, because really this one, two, three, four. Oh, what about one, two, three? We're missing a flower, but there's the consecutive one, two, three in mixed suits. We did one, two, one, two, three. So we used this one. And then we also had a one, two, three, four. So we wanted this one. I am not gonna stop the Charleston because I'm in between two hands. I'm not gonna pass like numbers. So I have to make a choice. I'm either gonna do one, two, three and have a gap. I try not to go for a gap hand. So if we're gonna do one, two, one, two, three, we're gonna give up on the four. So we're gonna do one, two, one, two, three, or the consecutive one, two, three with mixed suits and a pair of flowers. Don't stop the Charleston if you don't know which hand you're gonna play. Pick a hand and then pass. You're much better off. You gotta put the joker back. We got a two. And we, we don't have to do any more decision making because we do have discards. Although we got a three. Here's, let's see here. One, two, three, yeah, no, it doesn't really help. So we'll pass it. And so, oh man, that's gonna be a risky pass. Six, seven, nine, oh my gosh. One, two, one. So we have one, two, three as one option, or we could do one, two, and then one crack, two crack. Let's give away, we'll break that up a little bit. Two bam, seven crack, nine crack. Oh, we got some good tiles maybe here, let's see. Oh, finally, gee whiz. Okay, so here we have one, two, three, and then twos, but to use all the multiples, we could do one, two, shoot there is that one two three with twos in the middle but we've got a gap and no two bam so I don't think that's gonna be good we could sacrifice the two oops wrong two and do one two three with the missing flower that's kind of rough or we could do one two and then one crack three bam I think that's what we'll do we'll give up on the three dot so one two one two we need a one crack badly and then three bams. So we can still do um, two consecutive hands there and have a full pass for the optional cross. We got a three, we got the three back and we have two discards. So we've got options. We could still do the one, two, three with twos in the middle. We could sacrifice the three bam for joker bait, or we could do one, two, three, and then hopefully we can get a flower, sacrifice the two, or we could do one, two, one, two, three, which would be the best, because then we would be able to use all the multiples. We're missing the one crack though. And that convention was pear, pear, pung, pung, kong. If we got that one crack, this would be a really great hand for this set of tiles. There's that Charleston modeling. Give it a try yourself if you haven't tried that yet. And then come back and let me know what you thought, if it, if it helps you um, with your decision making. I really think that it helps kind of ease the agony of decision making. Once you get used to it and you, it, it kind of desensitizes you from that stress uh, by going through this exercise. So I hope you try it and I hope you like it. And I guess uh, I'll see you at the next Charleston modeling. But before I close out, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already.